Between Nashville and Chattanooga, just off Interstate 24 in the town of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, lies the well-seasoned Lodge Museum of Cast Iron. So you might be asking, why is there a museum off the beaten path in Tennessee? I have an answer for that. This is where Joseph Lodge started the whole thing when he opened the Blacklock Foundry in 1896. That factory burned down in 1910, but then it reopened as the Lodge Manufacturing Company. Today, Lodge Cast Iron is still a family-owned and operated company, and is one of the oldest cookware companies in continuous operation in the United States. How's that for a little American history? But I'll save the rest for your trip to the museum. The exhibits here are really well done. Some of the exhibits are just beautiful historic pieces of cast iron, while others use a combination of set pieces and video screens. It's truly immersive, and I really enjoyed seeing how they, well, you know, cast iron. Ever since I saw Mark Ruffalo's Dark Waters movie, I have been cooking only with cast iron and stainless steel. And you can ask my wife, I am very protective of the seasoning of my cast iron. In addition to the museum, there's also a restaurant, Big Bad Breakfast. They're open from 7 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. daily, and I've had this in Nashville. Yeah, you, you wanna stop. Well, now you've done it, I'm thinking about breakfast food. Anyway, back to the museum. I do feel like this would be very enjoyable for the whole family. Whether you love history, learning how things are made, or just seeing beautiful works of art cast in iron, it's all here. The kids even get an opportunity to build their own casting mold. And since I had no children with me, I felt it was my bound duty and my personal responsibility to show you just how this process goes. I probably should have followed the instructions. But I mean, what do you expect? I'm doing this one-handed, I'm holding a camera in the other hand. The whole museum experience took me around 30 minutes to explore everything. And if you love roadside attractions like I do, they've got a big one for you. How about a 14,360 pound, 18 foot across from handle to handle cast iron skillet? Do you have a lot of family coming into town for the holidays? Well, here you go. Cook that breakfast all at once. The final thing to mention is the store. It's a large store with many offerings. And over in the corner, they even have a factory outlet scratch and dent type thing, where the issue is that it didn't get an even seasoning coating. For the amount of savings I got on those pieces, I will gladly re-season them myself. So if you find yourself traveling between Chattanooga and Nashville along Interstate 24, or you just want to take a day trip from Nashville, this is a fun, interesting, and kind of unique stop. And I very much recommend it. Even if you only stop for breakfast in the store, it's well worth it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.